Ladies and gentlemen, the time we've been waiting for. The two hype fall is light event. We are about to catch a plane to go to San Francisco. Let's talk, bro. I haven't been sick in months. Probably even a year and a bit. Last night, my throat was dying. I felt so sick. Literally breathing hurt. Swallowing it hurt. Existing hurt. Life hurt. It was bad. But it's cleared up a bit this morning. Good morning, Jordan! Good morning, Zach. Good morning, puppy. Morning, Chris. Good day. Call me Aquaman, because I can breathe underwater. Fake Yeezys alert. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Zach. Please don't walk around. I He's gone. Back the Where did Zach go? Bum, bum, bum. I'm about to airdrop this great picture of Zach to other people on the plane. See if they accept it or deny it. Are you gonna airdrop something to me? <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> no. Well, okay. I'm trying to get some. Someone declined it. <laughs> Nobody wants to see it. Oh, that one, no, they denied it. I'm gonna try airdropping a picture of Humphrey. If you deny an airdrop of Humphrey, you're actually a bad person. Person sitting two seats over, declined the beam of the picture of Humphrey. <laughs> we watched her click decline. <laughs> And then it show up on the phone. <laughs> nope, he's about to send this. Your light on the shoulder will turn on automatically in water. Never inflate your vest inside the aircraft. Uh, what? Do you see that in the water? Down in the ocean? Wait, no, what is it? <gasps> this seat is saved. Were you guys cool kids only. Get it, get it. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. We on the bus. It's moving fast. Zacharoth on the V. Hit it. Brie Martinez with the, the verse. Uh, come on, Beyonce. Yeah, come rap. Just call me Russ. Yeah. You know, on the beat means you produced it, right? You're not the rapper. Yeah. <laughs> Hit it, Zach. <laughs> Entering the hotel. It literally has a living room. There's so much room for activities. It's mad. Then we go over here. We got, you know, the kitchen. Hello, sexies. Hello. And we got our bathroom. Hello there, lovelies. Or, <laughs> Hello there, fucking squad. <laughs> Hello. Ball is life. Ball is life hooked your boy up with a bag. Let's see what we got. Ball is life shirt. A shirt with a lion on it that says 3P lion. We got a two height practice uniform. Yes, we're having a practice in like 30 minutes. Yo, so I have a kind of a funny story about that. That I forgot to tell you on the vlog. So we were all at the bottom of the hotel, you know, all wearing the practice jerseys, the fit, ready to practice, and we're just waiting on Mopey. Mopey finally comes down, and he's just wearing this regular fit. And we're all like, Mopey, why aren't you wearing your practice jersey? And he's like, I didn't know we were meant to wear the practice jersey because we had the practice. And he was like, I thought that tomorrow before the game, we were all going to wear the practice jerseys in the warm-up, you know, the 10 minutes before the game warm-up. He thought we were all going to wear these practice jerseys and then go and change right when the game started in into our actual uniform. He actually thought that, bro. Everyone was dying. It was so funny. Oh my god. Imagine if we all warmed up in those ugly ass practice jerseys and then took them off and put on our... Mad. Nice little pair of shorts and some good old socks. I got the Bucket Squad ones on. The opposing team, the off-ballers, are finishing up their practice right now. Look at them go. The off-ballers stand no chance. Trash ass, get blocked. Yep. Denied. We just started and I'm dying. How's the world going? We got it. We got it. We got it. We just finished the warm up. We can't let the other team know we're tired from the warm up. If anyone's wondering, we're fine. We're in shape. So those lost this week, all the tragedies say I'm repeat like we can't shake shit. I can't speak on it. Reach to the sky, but I can't beat on it. Drinking my cup, so I'm gonna sit on him. Can't lose, probably pissed. He can't stiff on him. All these levels of these relative problems and benevolent elegance for those who can solve them. I'm feeling pretty low, like I'm stuck at the bottom, but I know I'll rebound like the bulls with rhyme, and I am just exactly what I will be. Just a guy who can rhyme and chop ill beats. One day I'll recover from what ails me. Till then. What the sales be? Mama told me One day I'm gonna blow up big And I'm gonna be a king And my papa told me It's okay to sit where shit hurts Don't forget your dreams Cause they'll get you through this So call it if they call living But I call it strange And I bet I'll do it Cause I'm on my way And strong enough that
talk about death. We try to live life while the signal says left, but they really at the practice. Someone wanted a taste of me, Isaiah Mobley. My man's is committed to USC. He's a monster. Now, I want to get a proper one-on-one -on -one against him. At the practice, we wanted to do a little one-on-one, -on -one, you know, so I could do some scouting, kind of feel out my opponent. And this was what happened. Really going right, but who cares? They got nothing to improve upon. Me while we pass them fast lane Rubicon. <laughs> so let the shit storm rang and they try to dab us up, but we just leave them hanging. Yeah, so let them catch up with the language. They can talk shit, but you know that we can manage. Uh, they say they're tired of the metaphors. They are only pissed that they never really ready for them. Uh, so go ahead and get ready for them. Pop another bottle, cause you're gonna need a steady arm. Uh, it's like we're living in the Tron game. Lines are all blurred, cause we're sipping on the Bombay. Uh, John Stock versus LeBron James. No competition when you factor in the time change. Babe, who sucks? Fuck what the books say. I can strike him out with three pitches in an arm sling. Yeah. And we can do anything, mama said it's true, and I put that on everything. Mama told me, one day I'ma pull up big and I'ma be a king. Leave a like rating down below if you want to see a proper one-on-one. -on -one. This was a teaser. I was feeling out my opponent. I'll check him out. His things are in the description. Are you ready for the real one-on-one? -on -one? Yes, it's going to be worse than Jalen Ham. National champs, come to Madden. Can I be the water boy? What do you do, baby? After Isaiah Mobley barely beat me, barely, his brother wanted a taste, Evan Mobley. Now, Evan Mobley is literally the number one player in the class of 2020. Out of all of the positions, he's number one. He's a seven footer, he's very long, he takes one dribble and dunks on me. As you're watching what's happening, it's not okay. When he was posting up on me, his butt was on my chest. That's not normal. He was ridiculous. That was scouting. It doesn't matter win or lose when you're scouting. Shout out. Go check him out. Yeah. All the links are in the description. The real one on one's coming soon. Popper, again. Be in. Appreciate you. <laughs> Open the eyelid. Camera's still tired. Yeah. Chris, you're not playing today. No. You're injured. Well, give us an update. Even though the doctor told me last night that it's a definite no. I told myself that if I woke up today feeling good, I was gonna try to play. And it's actually a lot worse. It's worse? Yeah. It's right here, right? It's like in the back. Oh. Oh, I, oh you have a brace. Yeah. It's a so what pack. what is the injury? Do you know or you have to get like Well, a... I have to get an MRI to know the specifics to be like sure, but the doctor said like it sounds like I tore my rotator cuff or something. Wait, I'm not bad. Everyone wish Chris a speedy recovery. He's gonna be our coach today. I will be. You can put in the subs and in it. In it. Mopey has brought out the heat today. Yeah. He is flexing on everyone. Uh, See my shoes? Yeah, Let's talk about them. This morning, walked into an elevator. There was a dog, sh I stepped on dog shit that was in the elevator. Why is there a shit in the elevator? I wanna know that. And th dude, there was a dude standing in the elevator who didn't warn me. I literally stepped in poop in the elevator. You, like step in it and look at him? Like, dude, what is I this? said, why didn't you warn me? You did not say I it. Didn't I did not say that. What did he say? <laughs> he said, I didn't see it. <laughs> the bad guy. Anyway, bad news. Girl. Oh God. Human sees fire for the first time. They want to kill like a dog. They fire. Hopping on the bus. And love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison. I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory. I tell you how it tastes. This is the stadium we are playing in. The Warriors used to play at this stadium. Welcome to Two Hype. I don't think I've gotten you in the vlog. You Welcome. You've been practicing a lot, right? Yes. Yeah, so as you yes. know, I visited the house like two months ago. And lots of practice since then. Yeah. Uh, so like last week, I went down to the gym, got up like 15 shots. Okay. And then they okay. Said we're closing, and that's it. 
15 shots is better than zero shots. We're exactly, ready. Man. We're ready. If you're a baller, you don't need to practice. You're always a baller. I needed some practice, though. I've been practicing a little bit. A little, little summer light. We'll see how it goes. If you make this one, too, I'm just going to win. Yes! My man. Double arm sleeving out here. I see you. The Bavers LA game is going on right now. Their level of play is so high. They're doing dunks, crazy stuff. When we get on, it's gonna be like layups are cool. You feeling yourself? You ready? You ready? I'm, I think I'm ready. Y'all ready? <laughs> event oh sheesh that was a lot yo I, you guys are just all of you guys are so amazing like i just appreciate you all so freaking much like you guys literally mean the world to me that was insane everyone at that everyone in the arena was showing so much love to me and i just appreciate it so much and i actually got the mvp like the crowd was showing so much love and they were like <clears throat> we're gonna give out the mvp on who makes the most noise and they call out their name and they call out my name and everyone was like yeah i did get the mvp i want to give a huge shout out to the other team though thank you to everyone who played thank you to all their players for coming out playing that was an amazing experience i had so much fun apparently i think i had 16 or 19 i don't know how many points i had i'm gonna have to watch it back i'll do a full game review soon this is the vlog this is coming out first but yeah we won the game just ridiculous experience bro literally our team two way playing together the scrimmage the night before we were so bad tonight or today we were so hot literally i've never seen my boys us me even that hot Literally, I made like a deep ass three. I made most of my threes. I was literally expected to break all of them. I literally thought we were gonna get blown out. That was insane. Like, I just had so much fun. Everyone was cheering for Mopi. We tried to get him a point, and he got a point. And everyone, dude, I'm not gonna lie. So, Mopi, we wanted to get him a point the whole time. The crowd, every time he sat on the bench, they were like, we want Mopi. They were all cheering for him. And when he finally got a point, bro, a, literally a tear came to my eye. I was just so emotional. I, I, got, I get emotional over Mopi. I'm not gonna lie. But I just, man, I love you all. Literally, like, and there's so many people repping Bucket Squad. Every time I see someone repping the Bucket Squad version, like, what is my heart? I just, like, I want to give them a hug. <laughs> no homo. I love you. That was an amazing experience. And I got the MVP. Hell yeah. It's like, dude, the best, like, I, I had a play where I did, like, a spin, and then I made a layup, and everyone went crazy for the layup. <laughs> And then the next day I came down and hit this D bass three and everyone was like, yeah, and I was like, yes, yes, yes. But yeah, everyone's in the hotel chilling. I don't think we're gonna go out or anything. Everyone just had pizza. 